Hello fellow problem solvers. So today we're going to be doing a problem from the Serbian team selection test from 2014. Problem number four. As you see, try this nice, nice, nice number theory problem out for a minimum of 45 minutes. Ideally an hour to two hours, not more than four hours. And if you'd like to go along with us, give this problem a go for the next 20 minutes. And now without further ado, let's begin. So a number is funny. If it can, if and only if it can be written in this form for some a and b greater than one, or b needs to be greater than one, I think, uh, and a needs to be greater than one, so you don't write one plus b, right? So both of them are greater than one, and do there exist twenty fourteen consecutive natural numbers such that exactly twenty twelve of them are funny, funny, and the that's the question. So. There's a couple of ways to go about this. One is to say, wait a second, what competition level am I on? This is the first problem on a team selection test, right? This is like day two, problem one. And I am going to have not a super, super, super hard time with this problem. I shouldn't spend such a long time with it. How am I going to prove, like, how could I prove that there don't exist 2014, right? It will have to be something with modular arithmetic perhaps, something with maybe the gaps between them. But as A and but as N is like whew, large, you know, like has factorials maybe somewhere in there or like a high degree of two in there or whatever. You know, like you don't really know. B can be changed and if A is changed, like you can change A by a lot, and then have the next one also be funny and change the B for the next one as well. So it seems difficult to be able to come up with that. So let's see like what type uh, can we construct maybe two consecutive funny numbers? I mean, if we can't do that, we can also solve the problem, but it feels like if we couldn't, it would be like half of 2014 instead of 2012. Exactly. Like that's how you're getting sort of a hint from these problems. Like what is it that the actual solution is? So now how can you construct maybe two of these funny numbers? I don't know. Let's see. Maybe we go. So a to the power of something to the power of B plus B. And then I want this plus one to also be of that form. How can I make, can I make, huh? can I sort of make B to be something minus, like, okay, let's make maybe B is equal to, I don't know, X minus one. And then I'll have A to the X minus one plus X be the next one. It's not really working out for me just doing this. Oh, no, wait a second. Wait a second. There might be something here. Oh, okay. This is a to the x minus 1, though we don't know anything about what a looks like. I invite you here. Pause for the next 10, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Actually, pause for the next 30 minutes and see if you can push the problem further. Because now I'm getting an idea. And the idea is, well, wait a second. a to the x minus 1. Under what conditions is this a funny number? Well, we have the A thing. Like we cannot sort of add something else here. Like it would be difficult to like take from, like make it this a lower power and add the rest here. It's difficult. That would be a bit difficult, I think. But say if A is equal to some M to the power of N. Then what is this then? This is m to the power of n times x minus 1 plus x, right? For some m n, m n are both greater than 1. Under what conditions is this funny? Well, it's funny if, if n is divisible by x, because I can then write m to the power of x minus 1 to the power of n plus x. In fact, if I just, if I said n is equal to x, I'm done, right? So 
Now I have two consecutive funny numbers. Can I get that a to the b plus b plus 2 is also funny? And the answer is, yeah, I mean, I can pretty much do like set b is equal to x minus 2. And then I have x minus 2 plus x, a to the power of this. Now I need a to also be of the form and like some other maybe q to the p such at the same time as it is m to the n such that p is equal to actually equal to x minus 2 right then it's actually if b is equal to x such that p is equal to x not x minus 2 right and then i can have an x out as well so what do I need a to be? I need a to be a power of like x is what? b plus 1, b plus 2. n is b plus 1, x is b plus 2. So I need a to be, like say 2, to the power of b plus 1 and the power of b plus 2, right? And all the way to the power of, uh, times to the power of b plus, um, what is it? We want 20, 14, 10. Okay, let's put b to the power of, 2011 and then we have a to the power of b plus b is sure this is a funny number a to the b plus 1 a to the power of b plus b plus 1 is going to equal so this is 2 to the power of like what is a to the power of b then then this is that times b and then a to the power then we will have, what's it called? 2 to the power of b plus 1 all the way till b plus 2011 times b over b plus 1 to the power of b plus 1 plus b plus 1. And this is a funny number because this thing right here is whole. I just divided by b plus 1. And in fact, this will in fact be true for b plus i. We'll have... 2 to the power of, so the, what's it called, the i, actually the i plus first in this case, funny number will be 2 to the power of b times b plus 1 till b plus 2011 over i to the power of, actually to the power of b plus i, to the power of b plus i, plus b plus i. Now, I invite you to pause for another 10 to 15 minutes and see what this gives us. What do we need now? And the answer is, you know, like, we're cool, we're cool, we're cool, we have 2012 at the minimum. Though, we don't know if the number 2 to the power of, what is this, b times b plus 1 till b plus 20, 11, plus b plus 20, 12. Like, we don't know for what b this number will be, like, won't be of the same form. All right, does, is b to the 2012 contained in this? Can we take some factors out of here such that we get b to the 2012? And also, what about b to the 2013? B to the 2013, like this is the 2014 consecutive numbers. Maybe A changes, maybe we don't get a 2, maybe we get something else. And in fact, perhaps there is even an argument to be made that for some large or for some specific B, we won't be able to do this. Sadness. However, that is not the road I want to go by. Uh, that's not a road I want to go down. Like we could set, for example, like how could we do this? We could set b to the 24 to be a prime. This to be a prime plus one, maybe. Um, it's, different. it's actually a bit, it's a bit tricky. Actually, to be very frank, it's a bit, bit, bit tricky. Because how are you going to make sure that both of these numbers aren't contained? Like when you take out the that the GCD of this 
and this isn't equal to this. How can you make that sure? It's actually a very good problem. It's a good and interesting problem that I'm not sure how to solve or whether it's possible to solve whether it's possible to sort of via elementary means like it feels like there has to be a b such that that is true but i just can't it feels difficult and i think this is why this is a very very cool problem when i and why i said you know tried for the most free uh, i should have tried for the most four hours because you can go down this path and it can be tricky i think i i mean just like right now looking at this i don't see a quick way out like, what, what will I set B to be equal? And then how, like, will that, like, really, really save me? So, and then also, mind you, huh, I've done, this is, who's to say, like, this cannot be written as free to the power of something plus that thing, right? Like, there's nothing really guaranteeing you. Who says, like, this isn't also equal to, like, free to the power of X plus X for some X? Right, and then not just three to the power of x, but like any number, maybe four, no, not four, but say five to the power of x, or say six to the power of x plus x. Like, there are a lot of numbers you have to get rid of, and it's a difficult task. So, and this is what's difficult about this problem, that you need to draw yourself out of that if you go down that route. And the idea here is, okay, I can, I have 20, I know 100% I have like at least 2012 of these num consecutive 2014 numbers that are, what's it called, funny. What happens if I have, twi if all 2014 are funny? Well, instead of starting from A to the B plus B, start from A to the B plus B minus 1. If that number isn't funny, you either went from 2013 to 2012, in which case, bravo, you're done. Or from 2014, you went down to 2013. And if it's the latter, or if it's, if it's funny, then, well, you're just at the same number as before, potentially, or you're at the same number, or maybe plus one. But you're at either 2013, 2014 numbers that are at not prime, but funny. So then you move again one down, and again one down. Am I done? No. Move down, move down, move down. And what will happen is you are at at least 2012 funny numbers here. If you keep moving down and you move down and down and down and down and down and down and down, you'll get to one. And the numbers one and two aren't funny. And also three isn't funny either. Yeah, it's not, it's 2 to the, because the smallest funny number is 2 to the second plus 2, which is 6. So the first 2014 numbers have at most 2010 funny ones, right? They have a lot less, but this is a very bad estimate. We don't care. So we know that we will get to a point where we have 2010 funny numbers. Because we're at 2014, here we must get to at most 2010. At every point, the number of funny numbers when you shift by one either stays the same, decreases by one, or increases by one. We're at 2014. Now we're at 2010 minus something. We were at 2010 at some point. And to that point, we're at 2011, 2012, 13. Oh, wait, we were at 2012. And that's the proof. That is sort of like you move up by one, down by one. It's back to that problem, the prime shifting trick. If you remember, if you saw that problem that I did, that's basically the same idea here. Now we just shift down by one, down by one, down by one, down, 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 until we, and we will have to reach 2012 consecutive, like 2014 consecutive with exactly 2012 that are funny. And this finishes up the problem. And if you also have trouble like understanding this trick, look at the video on the, um, what, what did I call it? I called it the, uh, prime shifting trick, which really goes more into depth and explains this like much further and it actually provides a proof if you want for why you can do this like for primes. And the thing for primes is you can pick 2012 consecutive numbers 
which have exactly five primes among them, right? That is the problem, and you do it by this similar trick. And this really finishes up the problem, because we've shown we can construct... Yeah, we can now make this, like, instead of times b, we'll have it times uh, b plus 2012, b plus 2413. And now we're on a horse, like, now we're saying a to the b plus b, a to the b plus 1, a to, a to the b plus b is funny. A to the b plus b plus 1 is funny, all the way till a to the b plus 2013 is funny. And so, between that humongous number, like, well, this is a huge number, right? So between that huge number, in the beginning, there must be a point where you have 2012. And this finishes up the problem, and as always, thanks for problem solving.